Okay. Are we live? We are live. That's hey, exciting. Everyone. Oh, here we go. I found us. Excellent. We're live. Oh no. It's like I've got me talking to me. <laughs> and too many tabs. Yeah, about 500 million tabs. Yeah. As usual. Okay. Well, let's wait and have see how many friends want to join us today. Just tweeted it out. Wow, look at this. People coming in already. Excellent, excellent. Welcome everyone. Let us know where you're from. Hey. Background is so cool. Yeah, it is a cool one. And um, you guys, I don't know, I'm not sure you can see me actually, but I've got a brand new profile picture courtesy of Lisa this week. <laughs> <laughs> Where is your profile picture? We need to I see that. I don't know. I don't, no, they don't. I don't know if you can change it from Zoom. You click on me. I'd, I'm not sure how it works, but um, let's see. I'm sure one of these buttons might do it. <laughs> to be honest, they don't really need to see it. They do need to see you because you look really cool with your new profile picture that, you know, shows your you know lovely gray hair uh, yes yes okay hang on i'm going i'm going to share my screen so you can all see okay hey frank how you doing when are we going to see josh live in the flesh online or oh, naughty um hi from france germany india amazing slovenia robert good to have you here Michael from Gosford, awesome. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you're happy with that, aren't you? I am. I've got really unstable internet again today. So sorry, guys, if this. It... Well, probably for the best with those things on your screen. Look at the beard. <laughs> What's happened to the beard? So this, this is Josh. This is what Josh looks like. And, um, yeah, in real life, he actually looks like this. He has money hands and uh, he has one inch. <clears throat> no comment. <laughs> anyway, know. moving yeah. on, let's jump into moving the charts. On, moving on. So, um, yeah. What a wait for crypto, hey? So we've got Anonymous accusing Elon Musk of destroying lives and, and El Salvador planning to make cryptocurrency legal tender. We're well, not planning, they're doing it now, aren't they? Yeah, um, well, that's pretty exciting, actually. So yeah, some a huge few things. exciting things sort of happening in the crypto space, which is mm. nice. And of course, Elon obviously joined us last week and saw our, our come rocket chart and thought he'll have a slice of that. Um, yeah, he did. And then, you know, you guys, if you were watching the show last week, you've made 265%, which is nice. So thanks to, thanks to us for getting you huge. in early and then Elon for, you know, watching the show and tweeting it out. He's probably so, watching this one as well. So Yeah, he's, he's got to be watching this one. So. Yeah, we I'm just, will get I'm, him on the show, I'm yeah, sure. Comment. So if you're here, guys, there's 112 of you watching. Smash the like button. So I've got disappearing arms again today. I don't know why. <laughs> it's always good. It's always good. So let's get into it. Let's check out Bitcoin. So, you know, it's almost a stable coin right now. And it's, um, you know, there, there's lots and lots of stuff happening. So... You know, Alibaba is um, coming into the crypto space. They've applied for a financial license in Singapore. PayPal have applied for a financial license there. There's like over 300 companies that have applied for financial licenses and crypto licenses through the Singapore um, network. So, you know, that's just one space. And, yeah, you know, there's, there's a huge lot more. stuff happening. 
huge stuff yeah. happening anyway. Like Rafa, um, a huge investment firm. Um, whilst it's not the best news for us, um, they still, uh, I think they've sold a lot of their Bitcoin, but they, they turned it into about 1.1 billion profit in about five months, uh, having yeah. bought at the end of last year. Um, so all around us, there is massive stuff happening. You've just got to bear that in mind um, as we as we go through the motions. Have they sold the bottom though? This is the thing. It's like so if they've just sold this region, have they sold the bottom? And are we? I think they'll be regretting it soon. Mm. So obviously, you know, we're still in this corrective pattern. We're still under. This is the daily. We're still under the two hundred MA um so we need to come up and touch that the the lower regions are looking you know when we go back down to our low low charts so you know we can see this is a 15 minute chart so if you're scalping this is the chart that you'd be using and you know where you know in that sort of congestion with those indicators and the MAs are just about to cross bullish here, which is a really good sign. So our RSI is really low, which means this region will hold. So, you know, if I was placing orders, which I do from time to time when I'm scalping, I'm going to be scalping at 3,650 to around 3,000, not 3,000, 36,050 to uh, 35,000, sort of 850 is my buying range here. Uh, we've got a, you know, a, a triangle, which is very, very sort of equal on both sides, uh, which is never fun to trade. So, you know, you can put your stop loss sort of underneath in case it breaks down. Um, and you can, I wouldn't be shorting this one because technically we break through on the fourth one or we break down. So, you know, I wouldn't be shorting in this region just at the moment, just due to the fact that I do potentially think we will be going up. Um, you know, if you're going to short this region, potentially they could wick it down as well, uh, which is never good. And um, then you get trapped in your short. So it, it's really hard to sort of trade this area unless you're trading the small, small time frames that we're doing um, or if you're accumulating. So I think this area is a really good place to be accumulating I don't think we're going to break down I think there's too much sort of good stuff happening in the market for this to break down to the 20k range that we're seeing a lot of people calling at the moment so yeah but I'm you know next week will sort of tell us that more of this picture awesome so still in my, um, this is the BLX Brave New Coin from the beginning of time. And, you know, we're still in this pattern. Um, this is the daily again. So we are sort of coming down with this cross. This does happen from time to time. We've even crossed over. So this is um, this, is this range where we were sort of really congested in this eight to 10,000 range where, you know, it went sideways forever. And, you know, at this point, everyone was like, oh, my God, I'm shorting this. So, and we saw, you know, the most shorts sort of liquidated in such a short period of time. So I think we're going to get this sort of, you know, this crazy sort of pattern here again in this region and, you know, continue sideways. So um, it makes the most sense for me being as this is a fourth wave. It just doesn't make sense that this is going to break down. It's possible, but um, yeah, we can see that we've got these waves here and we've got, you know, the pitchfork and it's all looking really, really good. So for me anyway, everyone else in the world of crypto thinks it's breaking down. <laughs> <laughs> so if we, we have a look this is a three day um we've got support of the uh 100 ma on the three day so uh, for me that's a really good sign that you know we'll come back down we'll probably retouch this region which is uh when we go back to this chart here which is this purple zone so this is a block order or supply zone so, you know, good to have some orders sort of sitting in this range. Um, it's, you know, 33000 to sort of, you know, $32,000 sort of range in, 
there. If it does break down, it's going to sort of sit in that zone. There's lots of lots of orders in that range. So, um, you know, for me, this is all looking really, really good at the moment. Obviously, if we do break down on this three-day chart, the 200 MA is sitting around that $20,000 mark, which everyone wants us to touch. So um, whether we do or not is a different sort of scenario. And, you know, right now we don't have that neg really negative news coming into the market to, um, you know, break it down. So, yeah. Um, just looking at all you guys. So <laughs> everyone say hi, Elon. Hi, Elon. Yeah. <laughs> We've got some hi, hey, Elons in the comments. So um, Ethereum is a better looking chart. Um, obviously, they've got, um, you know, what is it? EIP. I can never remember what it is. That. Anyway, so they've got that coming up. And um, so they've got triple halving coming up uh, where they've got three su success, yeah, can't even speak today, successive um, halvings coming up. So which will, you know, put Ethereum in line with where BTC is and, um, you know, sort of keep it moving and hopefully keep gas fees lower and address all those issues with all of that. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily the best fix, but, you know, we'll see. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of competition for Ethereum right now with Matic, Polygon and, you know, a few others, Solana, uh, which we're going to talk about later. Um, yeah, so Ethereum, this is a two-hour chart. We've seen that we've got MA support. We're in this channel um, coming up in this region and uh, we've just crossed over this resistance and we've come back and retested it. So we might have a little bit of a, a retest in this region. This 100 MA will find support. So I, I don't think we're breaking down on Ethereum. Like when we go to the, um, this is a BTC pair and you know it's still looking really, really strong. And, um, you know, we might get this sort of corrective pattern. So we might see a little bit of a dip coming up. But, um, yeah, overall, Ethereum is looking really strong compared to BTC. It just keeps making big, big, big percentages all the time. So you can see that, you know, we're going up to this 40% range from buyers in this region, um, rebuyers in this region. And, you know, we're coming up again. And, and that's kind of how I've been trading. I've been trading this channel and it's been really profitable. So, you know, continue trading the channel. So we should get some buys in Ethereum, maybe down as low as 2,700 before we take off again. So um, if we're looking at that sort of range, we, we've got, you know, a 10% sort of move in Ethereum. Most people are margin traded. So, you know, that could be anywhere up to a thousand times, um, you know, a thousand. Yeah, so depending on how risky you are, I wouldn't go that far, I'd be at 10%, so. No, no I'm, thanks, I'm not for me. 10% is plenty, <laughs> plenty. Yeah, so, yeah. But you gotta remember when you're margin trading, you lose it the other way as well. So if it goes against you, <laughs> which is never nice and never fun. So, yeah. <laughs> EIP 1559. Thanks, Michael. That's the one. Yeah, that's it. I know it's EIP something. It's mm, like. It's that number. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, um, but yeah, Ethereum looking really good. So, we'll pull it up on a day chart. And um, obviously, we can see this, this big drop. Oh, let me get some of this congested sort of stuff off this chart. But we can see that uh, we're on the other side of this resistance. We've got support as well on the 100 MA on this chart. So, you know, I really don't see this breaking down in any hurry. So to me, this is probably one of the best looking charts in the market. And I've looked at a lot today, trying to find charts and they were all ugly. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they're looking good. We still managed to find a few, so. Uh, we did. So after looking at like, oh my goodness, maybe about 50 or 60 charts, we found a few that looked good. 
Mm. And a few that have got some interesting stuff happening, so um, mm. which is always good. So should we jump into our uh, 10 charts in probably That's, not 10 minutes? but <laughs> No, I think we can do it in 10 minutes-ish. We've got about yeah. half an hour before I have to rush off, so um, plenty of cool. time there. I All think right. we're starting with dusk. We are starting with dusk. So this is dusk. So all of the charts, a lot of the charts that I've got today have a pitchfork, which is a really, really tradable, easy pattern. Um, so because, you know, the charts sort of move to these fib levels within the pitchfork, which is always really cool. So, um, so this one goes right back into March, which is where we had our low on most charts. So a lot of these charts in the pitchfork at the moment are hitting these lows from way back in March. So this is a really good indicator that we are close to the bottom. If we start breaking down in these regions, then you know it's going to be disastrous for a lot of these alts. And I don't think we're going to. I think we're going to hold a lot of these patterns because unlike the rest of crypto Twitter, I think Bitcoin's holding in this region. So uh, just due to the fact that, you know, some of the alts are looking fairly ugly and they do need to have bounces and they're very, very low on these RSIs. So this is a daily RSI on dusk and we can see that we've had a bounce in the support region. It can go lower, but we can see that it's sort of got this consolidation pattern around the bottom of this pitchfork which goes back to March. So I'll just emphasize that. So this was the drop that we saw in 2020 where we saw the bottom of Bitcoin. So um, this to me shows that a lot of these alt patterns are bottoming out in this region, if not at the bottom, close to the bottom. So um, yeah, so this is dusk. Um, and potentially we've got um, a really, really strong move coming up. We should hit this median line on the, the pitchfork. So if we're buying in at this range, um, we're going to get, you know, 220% and we should sort of move up through that, that sort of pitchfork and, you know, play those fib levels within that range, which will be nice. And we can see that the MACD is, is cross bullish in this region, which is also good on the daily. So we should continue up and see this sort of movement up to this region at least. You know, this is, is quite a sort of a big sort of move within the MACD. Um, and we when we saw that sort of, we saw that around this region here where we've got this nice bounce and this curve down. So we're gonna see that again, start to get this curve in this region. Um, yeah, so dusk is a strong buy for me. Excellent. Uh, next one Just is Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I was I was, you don't get to talk. You're flying through the charts. <laughs> um, no, uh, just just for those out there who aren't sure, I think uh, it's dusk.network. If you want to go and check it out, um, it's a technology for securities, an open source and secure blockchain infrastructure that businesses use to tokenize financial instruments and automate costly processes. So B2B stuff, not really customer end, um, as far as I can see. They did have some news um, last week um, where they have established a $5 million grant program, which is huge. Um, as Lisa mm -hmm. was saying, they've been around for long enough. They've got the capital. Um, you know, they've got a really solid foundation. Um, and yes, this grants program is seeking to engage independent projects and developers, researchers, academics, um, all to help accelerate the growth of the Dusk Network blockchain platform. So if that's of interest to anyone, do go and check it out because there's $5 million that they are spending to grow their uh, platform. Nice. So that should um, help the price a little bit, we hope. So, you know, everyone was just telling me to zoom a little bit. So, um, you know, I'd be buying this at sort of 10 to 12 cents. Uh, that's kind of where we're on the pitchfork at the moment and we should really start moving. So um, strong buy on dusk. So our next chart, again, is in a pitchfork. Uh, we go back to January 21 um, at the end. So we can actually pull this chart way, way back. 
so way way back but we were quite flatlined on dent for such a long time so if we pitch pull it back to this region here and you know we can see as well right back to january uh, to march uh, 20 where we had that drop again not that it made as much on dent because it was so flatlined we can see that we are on this pitchfork as well so we've got a couple of different angles on the pitchfork uh, where we're, you know, right at the bottom. So as well, I'm going to zoom in on this chart so everyone can see this region. So we probably have a little bit of a drop. We should go sideways um, on this chart for a little bit longer. And we're kind of around the 0036 mark to probably around the 0030 um, mark on a buy-in on this one. And uh, we do have some diagonal support in this region as well. So, um, you know, we might have one more drop on dent before we take off, but it's uh, a nice looking chart as far as all the ugly charts today look. <laughs> yeah, Mark. and dent are actually, um, they're really cool. So um, they've got really cool project in the um in the mobile phone world um they essentially one of one of the big things they do which i was interested in when i was checking them out was you know how when you go traveling more often than not you have to spend um a lot more money to use your data outside your home country and this mm -hmm. and that or you're buying other contracts and plans well what they're doing is creating a sharing economy where it's more of a global um package plan where you can be anywhere in the world so once we are able to travel um a little bit more they, they're going to be um really probably you know looking to um really pump after that um it's just i'm just reading up here as i go through um anyone can buy sell and donate their mobile data what a cool concept it's like um it's it's really they're really 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 cool i'm gonna keep my eye on these guys definitely yeah they've they've had some really big sort of news and and some stuff happening over the last little while so that's why we've had those big increases mm. in price um so a lot of these coins and tokens are coming to the very bottom so um that's why we want to start you know getting into them at the moment so our next one's hard so we've had this one on uh the show quite a bit over the last little bit but um the reason is it's been at the bottom in this region for such a long time and um today we've got the pitchfork on this one as well so we've got a falling wedge we've got uh support we've got a pitchfork We've got everything going for this chart and uh, we've got some volume happening and, um, you know, MACD is sort of crossing up. And, yeah, so this, we're sort of around 65 to 68 cent range on how, you know, it's, it's literally going to start moving. amazing sorry i lost you a little bit there um but yeah hard have been around for a long time I've, I've been in a few trades with them um and uh i think they're powered by carver um initially looking at their twitter yeah website is hard.carver.io and carver is, is a DeFi platform um and uh yeah so they've got what have i got with them I mean, Carver have got a huge roadmap as well. They've got their Ethereum bridge happening next month um, and a robo advisor wrap, um, all sorts of cool stuff. So, um, which is going to help pump hard as well. <laughs> <laughs> we always like hard to pump. So, yeah. you know, hang on, I'm just fixing my dress up because oh. for some reason it's just decided to pop open. So oh, that's no way to get viewers. We don't do that here. Yeah, no, we don't do that here. When I eventually get video, then I'll uh, do my buttons up. <laughs> <laughs> or down, depending on how many viewers we have. Maybe they'll want to see it down. Oh, with my grey so, hair and my circle beard. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Moving on. Yeah. 
So this, this chart is Centric Cash, uh, which is our next chart. Again, we've got uh, a bottom here on this chart. We had around sort of the end of January, which was the bottom on some of our alts. Um, not all of them bottomed out around that sort of March period. So some of them did bottom out around the sort of end of January this year, uh, which is what happened with Centric Cash. They actually weren't in the market at that point uh, yet. So they, they've dropped into the market in August. They've corrected as did, you know, August was a, a sort of a big zone where we had a, a major correction across the market, which sort of lasted about two months last year. And uh, then we sort of took off on that third wave, which has been epic. And uh, then we did have that drop again around January. So, um, you know, where everyone was saying Bitcoin was going down again. So um, my shirt keeps popping open. So we are going, <laughs> it's, so we have this uh, pitchfork again, which I'm just gonna zoom in on here. We are right on this channel. So we can see that we're climbing up on this diagonal support on this pitchfork, which is a really good sign that this is going to continue up. So um, we have lots of zeros in front. So we've got 0, 0, 004, just triple zero four four to around the triple zero five nine sort of range is a good buy-in. And then, you know, we should go up uh, a couple of zeros as we take off in this sort of chart. So if we put some, um, uh, we've got a massive move of like 350% coming up on this chart as soon as it starts going, we are holding this support. So that's a really good sign. Um, and the MACD is looking good. So this is a 12 hour chart. We go down, drop down lower as well. We can see that we are just crawling across, filling out this region here. And, you know, that's really good. So we've got lots of support, lots of accumulation, lots of volume coming in, which is also another good sign. So yeah, so if just, wants to talk about yeah. what's going on here. Oops, I get out of my thing. So yeah. Yeah, Cent centric are, are massive. I mean, they're, they're essentially trying to create a new form of money, which I know is uh, the overall goal of the bigger cryptocurrencies. Um, and uh, and they, they, they've got on their website here, we believe financial freedom for the next generation can be stable, reliable, trusted, and untethered from existing assets. Um, they do a lot of cool stuff where you can um, you can hold your your CNS um, and and have a yield on it and yield a profit out of it. Um, they're they're really yeah they're really big. Um, they've just migrated over to Binance Smart Chain, um, which again is huge, and they've got partnerships with some. Uh, Rasta Finance, um, so they're they're on the ball. They're they're firing on all four cylinders. Yeah, so that's it's a really good thing to move across to the the smart chain because just due to the fact that the fees are so much cheaper um, than you know being on an mm. Ethereum network. So yeah, when you especially when you're on, you're trading it. Absolutely. Yeah, so our next chart is Uno. So this one's just dropped into KuCoin this week. Um, yeah, so they're, they're starting to list on some larger exchanges. Now, this is a really, really new pattern. So um, it's going to be super hard to do any TA. So this one's basically a buy the dips. Uh, it's a four hour chart. And, uh, you know, we've got in this, if you're playing the EMAs, um, we've got a, a cross, a bullish cross on the EMA in this region. So this would be a zone that you would buy on. We've had a retest down to um, support. So, and we're still green. So that, you know, you can just play the EMA bounces on this. Uh, I've got a video um, on how to scalp on the channel here. So if you want to check that out, it's uh, quite effective. So if we go down to the, the smaller time frames as well, uh, we can see that we, you know, we've been in this downtrend and we're coming up, we're just about crossover. So, you know, it's a really good point in the chart to start uh, placing some uh, buy orders. MACD is looking really good and this should start moving fairly soon. Mm. 
and um they've got uh again a really cool cool idea behind what they're doing it's a bit like inception that film so basically they're they're doing insurance for insurance companies so reinsurance um which is yeah it's is you know it's a niche it's in the market isn't it's um essentially it allows insurers to to transfer portions of their risk portfolios to other parties to reduce the likelihood of having to pay a large um a large obligation uh, resulting from an insurance claim so they are insurance for insurance companies um and as you said lisa they just listed on was it qcoin and yeah, just um qcoin and they're on uniswap yeah. and um i noticed on twitter they do a lot of cool drops and stuff and competitions so keep an eye on them um yeah so this is this is one definitely to keep an eye on especially because it's a new niche market coming into crypto um so you know and they're hedging against a lot of the insurance stuff via crypto so it's worth looking into um they have staking from what i understand as well don't they josh yeah yeah i believe so um i'm just i'm currently i got stuck on their giveaways <laughs> before i got to staking <laughs> yeah trying to get into them myself so yeah so uh, airdrops yes. and giveaways are such a big thing in crypto so there's you know i would sign up to these all the time in like 2017 mm. 2018 2019 when we were in sort of, you know, the end of the bull market going into the bear market. And some of those are just so huge right now. And um, it's really cool that, you know, you get a free token. And so they're worthwhile signing up to. Make sure they're legitimate. So there's a couple of websites that you can go to, Airdrops, um, and, yeah, that are, are really good and, you know, do do some really good sort of drops as well. Um, yeah, so next one we have Rio. So this is one of my favourites to um, to chart and to sort of, you know, trade. So it's on OKX. And uh, if we, we've got an expanding wedge on this one, so which is quite a nice pattern. So we know that we're sort of going to come up and test this region at some point. So uh, good to get in. So they've been doing some resistance tests in this region as well. Um, so with a buy in sort of around the $1.90 to sort of $2 mark, we're, we're going to get about a 65% move on this in the next little while. Um, we've got really strong volume coming in as well. And um, yeah, so really I have some really cool stuff happening, don't they, Josh? They do. And I'm just looking again at their Twitter. Um... That's at Rio DeFi official. Um, they've just been doing a huge 100,000 RPO giveaway, um, which I missed that one, so I'm, I'm angry. But um, <laughs> it's fine because I know they'll be doing plenty more. And actually, um, back on their website, riochain.io, um, they, um, they have, I'm looking at their latest news, um, Rio DeFi and Labs to scale up tokenized properties on Ethereum. Um, they've integrated with Simplex. Um, and, and they do so much all the time. Um, their partners list is huge. Um, they're listed on so many exchanges, o, um, OKEx, BitMax, Poloniex, uh, Uniswap, Qcoin, um, to name a few. Um, and then they've got their venture partners. They've got Moonrock Capital, um, Master Ventures, um, and of course their ecosystem partners as well. People they're working with Chainlink, um, pools. Um, so they have networked really well. Um, and uh, I know we we we've, we've been um, talking about Rio for a while. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the projects that I really like what they do. So one that I trade mm. often and uh, you guys would have seen. So our next one is uh, it's a relatively new on the market. So you can see all my lines. I'm going to leave them on this one so I can kind of explain what I, how I look at a new chart. So uh, this is TLOS or T-L-O-S. Um, so we've, I've got my FIB retracement tool on this one. So uh, we can see that we've, we've got a one-to-one -one in this region with our correction. 
So then that gives me the ability to give uh, to get a target on the next one. So we can see that we've we've got a, a correction to the 618, which is uh, the golden zone on this chart, which is also on this channel support. So we've we've got a, a couple of uh, confirmations that this is bottoming in this region and should continue sideways. We're going to fill out this sort of triangle bit. Uh, sort of sideways for a little bit longer uh, once we can pass this resistance. And, and then, you know, we should retest the top of this uh, channel at some point. So if we're going to be buying in in this range, uh, potentially we've got 170 to 200% move coming up over the not too distant future. Um, if we have a look at the RSI as well, uh, we can see that we are pretty much bottoming on this region as well. So we might get one more small drop down, which would be in line with this uh, sort of coming down and retesting this channel in this region. So this is a tier loss. Now they're uh, taking on some of the big players, aren't they, Josh? They are tier loss, tier loss, however. I think all these coins ought to have some pronunciation guide because... <laughs> <They do>. um... <laughs> I never know what it is. Tell us, Telos. Um, it's yeah. probably something completely different. Uh, but yes, they they are doing some really cool stuff, um, and that seems to be my go go to phrase. Everyone's doing cool stuff, um, but they are. Uh, it's it's speedy. Um, it's got it does have some advantages over the other platforms that um, uh, you know do similar stuff. Um, basically being a blockchain software for smart contracts and decentralized applications. Um, zero transaction fees. Um, yeah, they, they have just in the last month um, listed on Qcoin. Um, mm -hmm. They were on Pancake before that. But um, any move onto the big exchanges always signifies that um, it's working what they're doing. Um, they've been featured on Yahoo Finance, uh, CoinDesk, Coin Telegraph, Hedgeweek. Um, smart, yes. yeah, still new, still new, still a lot to do, but smart looking website and um, uh, they're going in the right direction for sure. Yeah. So, how many have we done so far? Is it, it's like I lose count every week. Oh, I can see why you lose count now. I used to watch your shows <laughs> and think, oh, come on, it's only 10. How can you lose count? But now I. <laughs> that was number seven. So, we're coming up to number eight. So okay. Number eight. And we've got another pitch box. So, this is my, you know, chart sort of like pattern of the day that I was, as I was looking through, we were finding, you know, what charts were sort of, Josh was throwing out all these charts and I'm like, oh, they look horrible. So, and he's like, but they've got news. And I'm like, but they look horrible. So yeah. these are the best charts that have the best news. And so, you know, we're sort of looking at them and, you know, they've all got pitchforks. So um, this is News Crypto. We've got this pitchfork. This one's such a good mover. And, um, you know, this is one that I've regularly put up on Twitter. I love trading it because it moves so well. It has some big moves. Again, this is on KuCoin. Um, so this uh, correction is from around, you know, the January sort of range that we saw that sort of the dip. We can, we can go back down, right back down uh, to sort of, if we pull this right back down, um, you know, potentially if we're going back down to that sort of that March sort of region, we could have one more dip here, um, you know, and then continue on. But if we're looking at current sort of pattern at the moment, we have a nice sort of support in this region and we should get a bounce. So at least to this median line, which is um, about $1.29. So right now we're sort of sitting around the sort of 85 to 90 mark and, you know, should be getting that, that bounce. So that bounce is looking at about 50%. So that's a nice gain on this chart. So I'll throw it over to you and you can let everyone know what they do, Josh. Mm, yeah, I'm just checking out their website, newscrypto.io. Um, they've got, I'm looking at their about us section, they've got a picture of the whole team there and they look like a cool bunch, like 
we kind of they look like a, a bunchy guy on a party with and have a good time. So um, <laughs> that's always a big thing for me. I like to know who's behind projects and whether I'll be able to have a beer with them or not. Um, so that's a plus for me. Um, they are. I love their platform as well. Um, uh, essentially, you can. Um, it's got a trading simulator. Um, it's got market market indicators, uh, community predictions, um, and they they cater for everyone from beginners to experienced traders. Um, and um, their their kind of tagline, as you get to their homepage, is "Best place in the crypto world for money making decisions." So bold, really bold, um, and I like to see that in a team. Uh, as for news, um, which uh, it's this was back in April, um, which I know isn't that long in terms of news, but for crypto world it is. Um, but it's still really relevant that they are um, uh, news crypto are partnering with Travala, um, who are another big favorite of ours, um, enabling exclusive travel deals for uh, NWC news crypto holders. So. Uh, we do like a partnership when it's two of our favorites. Yeah. So I've just got to um, go back and I'm just going to have a look at some of the questions. So um, I've got from George, he's asking, when would I call it a bear market? So essentially, um, I'll pull Bitcoin up. So if we break down below this uh, support in this region, then I might be looking at a deeper correction. So if we break this low, essentially, which is the 29,000 sort of 500-ish, if we break that low, then I'll be considering that we're going into an extended correction. Um, you know, if we, we break that low without a strong bounce, that is, if we get a, a strong bounce in this region, we get quickly above this sort of 30, um, sort of 31 to 33 mark, then we're okay. If we break this low and we keep going, then um, yeah, essentially we're going to be going into a deeper correction. So, um, you know, at the moment for me, it's still, we're still bullish. We're just in, a, in an accumulation zone. So I don't see any major, major, major issues with BTC right at this point. You know, corrections are like slow and boring, especially in a fourth wave. It's the longest correction. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't see these until we break key zones. I don't see these massively big drops. And I, I know everyone on crypto Twitter is saying that we're going. You know, I saw a ten thousand or something. Somebody said ten or twelve thousand, and I was just like shaking my head. It's just crazy. <laughs> So, yeah. Um, so what else? Uh, RVP is one of my faves. It's one of my, uh, it's one of my moon bags, actually. So um, obviously it went, it did go to the moon, but um, I bought back in and, um, you know, it's really, really good. So farming, um, such a good time to be farming as well. So and you want to kind of look at some of these projects that like, there's one called Bumper that's coming out that when you're farming and staking, you can take insurance. Um, Roson is another one that lets you take insurance so you can stake. And, you know, if we do get a major big drop, um, you part of that staking fee goes to the insurance so you don't get liquidated and you don't lose all of your, um, like, what you've been farming. So that, that's another thing to look at when you're looking at these uh, DeFi staking opportunities that uh, you want to be going into sort of coins and tokens that have this insurance sort of model built in, which a few of them are doing at the moment. So Bumpers One, they're coming up with an IDO and uh, Roson Finance already have it. So, and they, they're linked to OpenSea and they have a really cool NFT platform there. So, yeah, so our next chart... I should continue. Um, so if you've got questions, guys, please put them in the chat and we'll try and get to those as we go. So uh, this is Sandbox. Um, and we've, we've got this uh, January uh, drop that we saw on a few of the charts. So we've either got 
these pitchforks going all the way back to March or they're coming back to January. So January seems to be uh, a common denominator in a lot of these charts for where we did get a low for the new patterns that dropped into the market. Um, we can see that we've got, if we've got the pitchfork in this range, we've got one more little drop on sandbox potentially, which could come down to around the 30 cent mark and before we take off. Uh, but for me, this is a, another strong buy I'm going to be accumulating. And um, yeah, so what does this one do, Josh? Yeah, sandbox.game is the website. Uh, very cool, funky looking website um, for for the gamers out there where you can play, create, own and govern a virtual world um, made by yourself. Um, lots of game experiences. Um, they, yeah, they're, they're really into um, developing with the community rather than for the community, as it were. Um, mm. So, yeah, essentially a decentralized gaming platform made by the players. Um, very cool looking stuff. They've got um, um, Richie Horton and Dead Mouse uh, doing a metaverse collaboration, as they called it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so they've got some, some big names getting involved. Um, and they are producing news all the time. Um, I need to get stuck into this one a little bit more to really figure it out. Um, but it's, it's, it's an exciting project, definitely. Yeah, okay. So number 10, we have VRA again uh, with my pitchfork. This is my pattern of the day, clearly. Um, we've mm -hmm. got, uh, you know, we do go back to January again with this pitchfork. Uh, we come up, we've got the top here, and then, you know, obviously with a pitchfork, we, we need to get two points and three points to go back within the, to the lowest correction point. Um, and so we've got this and we're crawling up along this support at the moment. So if we zoom in on this chart, we can see that we have got strong support. We've got, this is a two hour chart. So we're in between these uh, MAs and we have cross bullish on this chart on the MA. So that's a really strong sign that we should get some movement up if not some sideways movement along this channel. Um, you know, if we go down a little bit to a 30 minute, we can see, you know, we're starting to break up through these MAs, which is always something that I look for as we're kind of moving, just for the strength of like what the pattern is offering, how much volume is coming in. And, um, you know, that sort of determines whether it's a, a good buy or not for me. So, but we at the moment are holding within these MAs. So, you know, considering we might continue sort of sideways a little bit, kind of looking at the uh, 0.16 sort of range to the 0 0.10 range for a buy on uh, VRA. Excellent. Yeah, VRA, veracity.io, so V E R. A S I T Y dot I O. Um, a big one for those in the esports and video entertainment industry. Um, they have a real focus on them. Um, I think actually, did we cover these guys last week as well? I can't remember. Or was it just me? I might have just been checking them out last week. Um, <laughs> I have no idea anymore. Covered it a few times. So yeah. yeah um uh, they, they've been doing a lot um they got uh what was i going to say i'm just scrolling down oh uh, yeah so their roadmap um they've got coming up um the they've got nfts that they're going to start implementing um they've got mobile hey, apps just interrupt you la meth which is saying there's nothing wrong with a bit of sideways action so i'm in lockdown <laughs> this is true this is true. Um, In-game cosmetics and in-game currencies. Um, you're stuck on the sideways action, aren't you? Um, I can tell. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying trying not to get pulled into your naughtiness. Um, however, I completely lost myself. But yeah, VRA, um, looking good. The only other one, did I? Did we do Seoul or did I imagine we were going to do Seoul? No, because that's the chart of the week. So this is ah. our top our top 10 
Uh, just to recap, we had dusk, we've got dent, we've got hard, uh, some hard sideways action. Uh, we've got eccentric cash, we've got Uno, you know, we have Rio, real IO, we've got tear loss, we have news crypto, we have sandbox, and we have Vera City. So that was our top 10, and now our chart of the week. <laughs> Poor Lucy, dun, 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 dun. Poor Lucy, um, chart of the week is Sol. So this is Solana. Um, now this has to be in your bags. Has to be, has to be, has mm -hmm. to be. So, um, you know, obviously we've been on this diagonal support. We've just, we've broken away from that. We could come down and retest that if we do get a, a small drop on BTC. Um, so, you know, any dips that this does have, it is worth buying them up because long-term, this is going to be massive. So this has to be a long-term hold. So, you know, we are going to get some dips on these charts. So, you know, for me, a lot of these charts are looking really good for longer term, not for shorter term at the moment. So we possibly, uh, you could get some buy-ins on Solana around the sort of 38 and a half range mm. if we do get a dip. I uh, completely agree with that. Um, they are so ambitious, Solana. Um, on their website, solana.com, S-O-L-A-N-A.com. Uh, I've just watched, actually, their total transactions just turn over literally over 19 billion. What's nine noughts? Yeah, that's billion, isn't it? Yeah, that's um, 19 billion total transactions. And their average fee per transaction after 19 billion is... 0.0025 cents. Um, so it's just crazy. Uh, these guys build crypto apps that scale, um, uh, and they, as a company, are scaling as much as the product that they have. Um, just in the news uh, yesterday, um, we've got Solana is raising as much as $450 million in a bid to take on Ethereum. As you do, you just take on Ethereum. As you because, do, yeah, yeah. That's what you do in, this, in the crypto space. So you take on Ethereum and, um, you know, we've seen Polygon Matic take on Ethereum. Like if we, we put a channel on this chart, it's looking really, really solid to continue up. So, you know, any pullbacks on Solana, strong, strong buy for me. And, yeah. you know, I know um, Rand, I'm on his show every now and again, and, you know, he loves this. So, yeah, um, he's always yeah. talking about it. So it's, yeah, definitely a strong buy. Yeah, I'd agree with that. So I'm just going to have a couple of random charts that I've got on PooCoin that, you know, I think are worth looking at. So these are, oops, as I drop my pen. So these, <laughs> these, these are worth look, having a look at. So they're a little bit riskier just due to the fact that you can't use a stop loss on um, a lot of, you know, pancake swap and uni swap and all of those. So, um, so I'm going to have a look. So we've got some ass which um, everyone likes a piece of ass. Wait, uh, what? okay, I didn't realise this chart was coming up. You shocked me. I'm just out here. It's lucky I don't have video on because I'm just getting change ready to go out and then I hear you talking about ass. So what's this? <laughs> ass coin. I'm ass interested. Coin. So this is a strange shepherd token. So... Um, <laughs> It's Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. So um, right now it's had a you know quite a big correction after dropping in, and you know it it's consolidating in this region. So I do think this is going to have a bounce this week. So now if Elon's watching, you watch. He's going to tweet us this week because he watches his show. He does. And, yeah. So and he likes know, a piece of ass. So. He does. He does. Much so you know he had. Come rocket last week. This is a come rocket chart. Obviously, it's correcting. And, you know, 265% we got out of Elon and from watching this show last week. But uh, this week, we're going to buy some ass. 
And mm. we're also going to buy some more Wen Lambo. So this chart here has this really beautiful, like this, I can't, they're not on any sort of uh, charting um, sort of platform. So I can't sort of draw any lines to show you, but we can see that we've got um, a strong channel forming here. And, you know, we're kind of at the bottom here when we sort of pull this line along here. So, you know, when Lambo, it's like, it's going to go to the, it's, how, how does it sound, Josh, when, you know, you, when you buy Lambo? Sounds something like this. Moon, moon, <laughs> straight to the moon. It does, it does. So when, mm. as you're buying when Lambo, this is the sound effect that you have to buy and the make as you're yeah, buying it. It's absolutely like, the moon. reason why it's going to the moon. Moon. <laughs> So, this is where we yeah. see like half of our viewers drop out thinking they're mental. Uh, if you haven't realised we're mental already, then yeah, you're in for a shock. We, we just got a dislike from my moons. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, no problem. Ass. Yeah. So I'm I'm rebuying Lambo in this region. And um, yeah, I'm gonna as I rebuy it, I'm gonna be going moon, moon. Mm. <laughs> Seems to so, work. So, and I'm I'm gonna get my ass into Lambo. Well, thank God we didn't cover Cum Rocket because I dread to think of the. Uh, uh, okay. I know you've got the chart up somewhere as well, but oh, no, I week. haven't got time. I've so got to last bit. week, Josh. So last okay. week. All right. Yeah. All right. When ass. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah so there we go i'm going to stop my share so Excellent. thank you guys um, for all yeah. watching thank so, you for watching let's look at oh you can do that's nice oh my god these guys who's with lisa is so damn i, I guess damn is a um a, a nice word uh <laughs> because it'd be ironic if you were trying to say dumb um so. <laughs> it's very ironic, wouldn't it? Like... <laughs> May as well cover one inch now, LA Meth Rich. Yeah, well, um, there's not much to cover. <laughs> Amazing. Excellent. <laughs> right, yes, I've got to rush off. So, thank right, guys, you, so everyone. Thank you so much. Don't forget to smash the like button. Make sure you keep a uh, watch on Elon's tweets because he was watching the show and he's going to mm -hmm. buy Lambo. He's going to be buying Solana yeah. and he's going to be buying some ass. And we'll I'm try sure and get him on next week to say hi. But, you know, he's a bit shy. Yeah, he is a bit shy. And, yeah. you know, my dress is like... <laughs> yeah, and we'll, we'll fix that dress up for next week as well. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> All right. So thank you guys for watching. 